<laughs> so Sarah, we, we talked about in, in the first video, we talked about several frameworks, you know, React, Vue, Angular, as well. We didn't talk about like, Angular. We, we mentioned it, right? <laughs> we, it was, it's there. <laughs> it's there, always. <laughs> uh, so one thing I wanted to ask you about is what actually are the differences between React and Vue? Often, like, we hear a lot from our users and from other people that um, it's not clear for them why they should be trying one or the, or the other. And often people, like, will, will choose one and they will go for it for, for the rest of their apps. Yeah. So, and, and you know, when you're learning a framework, it's, it's, it's a big... It's a big decision, right? You are going to spend quite some time yeah. learning that framework, and you don't want by the end to discover like, whoa, it was a wrong choice. So how can you help them with that? I think one of the things that you need to take a look is how what syntax you like the most. Like I know a plenty of people who really dislike Vue, like for example, Kitsa, because he hates templates, which is a valid thing. He probably had a really traumatizing experience with handlebars or something, like completely valid. I mean, I get that. So if you're the type of developer that really doesn't like templates, I would say to avoid Vue. They do render through JSX, but it's not very well supported. So like, there's no reason for you to like force the thing into it. Mm -hmm. Just just try React. Um, there's another thing, which is, for example, React focuses a lot on immutability, while Vue focuses a lot on reactivity. So for example, when you have state in React, you can't just say like, uh, you can't set states, just completely change the state. You have to, like, if you want to get everything, it just basically maps everything and it's immutable most of the times. Like, it kind of forces you to be immutable while you have to set state. You can't just say, like, this or... So if you have a state of to-dos, you can't just say to-dos equals and a new array. Mm -hmm. You have to set to-dos and then you have to spread all the to-dos that you have and all that stuff. While in Vue, it works in reactivity. So basically, you just say, like, this dot to-dos equals the new array that you have. It, it does all of the magic that React does, but behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So if you're a person that really dislikes that type of boilerplate, for example, I don't, I've never liked Redux because of a lot of boilerplate that it creates. I prefer to have something more reactive. So at Code Sandbox, for example, we use Overmind, which is way more reactive than mm -hmm. Redux. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, it's more magic, but I prefer it because Redux just, just so many files, man. Mm -hmm. So many files. And so many, maybe also decisions to take by, to exactly. by, and by yourself. It also doesn't work by its own. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a big that's, problem that we're seeing in the community right now, I think, is like everything is plugin based or middleware based and Redux is very confusing to get started because then you don't have like async action. So then you have to put middleware on it mm -hmm. and then you get stuck in the middleware round and then you have like this, <laughs> like the high order components. <laughs> so if you want like maybe uh, to control how the state is getting like into into the components, maybe React is a, is, a, is a good choice if you like to have that control, right? Yeah, I feel like React is a good choice if you come from a lot of CS backgrounds as well because it applies a lot of CS stuff in the front end or if you like functional programming. I think mm -hmm. React is way more functional than Vue is, which is not a bad thing. Like it's both completely valid. Vue, I feel like it's more geared a lot through people who really just want to build things. Let's get things done. Just want to get things done. Like, I feel like the, there's a huge difference between the React and Vue community, mostly in, like, the React community really likes to explain the code and, like, name things and things like that, while the Vue community is just sitting there and is like, I just want to build stuff. And they just build a lot of stuff. Like, it, a, lot, a lot of it also depends on, like, which part you fit most in, like, in this kind of spectrum. Mm -hmm. A bit, like... For example, it's way more common to use TypeScript in React and in Vue because of a lot of the differences in the community as well. Right. There are some people trying to use it in, in Vue, but they're mostly the outcasts of the like the opposite in React. Um, and also, there's a thing of if you're starting out, the Vue docs are really good. Mm -hmm. The React docs are getting really good as well. The Vue docs are really good, and they're like really easy to get started. Uh, the thing that I feel that that keeps me like doing React is the there's a big community in React. Yeah. There's also a big community in Vue, and I really like JSX. I think JSX is makes a lot of sense to make components, and I also really like CSS and JS. So I kind of got stuck in the wheel of React, as in like I use a lot of CSS and CSS. I use style components or emotion. They're basically the same thing now, um, and I kind of got stuck in the in the twirly, mm. and. I feel like React is more like blocky than Vue is to create components and stuff. Like you can still do it in Vue, but I feel like it takes more work to do it than in React. Like it's not common practice, for example, to pass functions up. Things mm -hmm. like this are not a thing in Vue. They exist, but you're basically forcing it. 
So I think it really depends on which side of the spectrum you are. Like, none of them are wrong. They're just different ways so, of building the same thing. So does it depend only on the person but or also on the project that you're trying to do? I think it also depends a bit on the project, but not that much, really. I feel like both frameworks can do... they. You can make something in React or in Vue, and you can make it the same way. There is no like clear sweet spot yeah no there's no the clear other. like this is better for this not, not really like if we imagine like doing start with a website a pretty rich website both are okay for that yeah i would say either use next or gatsby yeah, Nux or gatsby yeah now if someone is starting with like they, they want to learn one of the frameworks does it mean that they should rather maybe try Vue because it's easier to start with, it's easier to learn, or now it's not the case anymore? I think it's still the case, but the main issue is that a lot of us learn to get jobs, and there's a lot more jobs in React, so you end up also with this paradigm. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so you end up with this paradigm, which I've told people to learn React mostly because of the jobs, that I do think Vue is easier to get started, but it will be harder for you to find a job in it. So, and there's also the a good thing that I think the Vue community has a lot is that if you get a job in Vue, they will teach you Vue, for example. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay. like a lot of people that join GitLab already use React, for example, and they have to be like thought, uh, taught a bit of Vue, which is fine. Um, I do think that in an ideal world where money wasn't a thing, I would say you get started with Vue and you see if you like it. If you don't really like it, you use React mm -hmm. and you try a bit of both. But you get started with Vue because it gets you the ideas of a framework, but in an easier way, I think easier to manage way. But do you think whatever you will learn when you're learning Vue will help you understand React? In yeah, a way? It, it, will. I, it will. It will. Like, for example, like it, it will because you also you still have state, you still have functions that you call from the render function. It's just a different way of doing it. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I hope that will be helpful for people. I hope so. <laughs> I basically just said it depends. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, Did yeah, I say yeah, it depends? Yeah. It's like, but you gave some information. Should you use yeah, React yeah. or Vue? It depends. <laughs> <laughs> the magical question. Yeah, yeah the answer. magical answer. <laughs>